This, th this right here is the very reason why I refuse to talk about the Twitch leaks. Because it's dangerous. It's like playing Russian roulette with the TOS. Even though it's legal to talk about it, even though everyone is talking about it, go on any Discord channel, go on Twitter, everyone is talking about it. If you bring it up, you can get destinied. You get destinied. The, like, the tabloid industry, a billion dollar industry that many people, especially women, like to read, wouldn't exist if the same TOS would be applied to them. Absolutely ridiculous, right? Because especially on YouTube, if I'm not mistaken, like you're not allowed to show information that comes from hacking material. I guess only CNN can do that. You as a private citizen, you're not allowed. But what's also interesting is the definition of doxing, right? Like if you look at the article, Destiny banned by Twitch for sharing staffers' personal info. And you're thinking like if you just hear about this, oh my God, he got banned. He must have shared something important, right? Maybe he shared the guy's credit card number, or maybe he shared the guy's social security number, banking info. Okay, maybe the address to his house. No, he shared the freaking email address. The email address. Th this is personal info now. The email address cannot be shared. Especially when you go on social media and you see how often you'll have these harassment campaigns. It's like, oh... Here is such and such. He made a racist joke. Call his boss. Here's an email. Here's a number. Contact. You know, like, that's fine. But if it's someone important that they like, all of a sudden, uh, the TOS comes into play. It's almost like there's two types of citizens, which is exactly what the Twitch hack reveal. There's two types of citizens. There, there's the one that can do whatever they want. They can drive a Lamborghini with 200 miles per hour and hit as many people as they want. No one gives a crap. But then you have the people that get stopped for a broken taillight. Like, this is what happened with Destiny. Like, pretty much, they're, they're letting him know, like, stop talking about it. Just shut the fuck up. Stay on your lane. Be glad you can use our platform. Because look at this. In, in the actual leak, it actually says that there are some people that Twitch refuses to ban. Like, there are protected people. And it's the same with Facebook. I'm pretty sure it's the same with YouTube. It's the same with all of these social media companies. I'm not really upset about the terms of service, to be honest. What I am upset is that some people are above the terms of service. Some people get to be kings, other people get to be plebs. That's what really upsets me. Can I do something about it? No, but I'm still upset, all right? Just, just so you know, V is upset. So anyway, uh, why do you even want to talk about this situation? Because this gets my blood boiling, by the way, like... It, it, as a leftist, because I used to be a leftist, Th this would upset me. Because you have people on Twitch that are like, oh, I'm so poor, I can't afford healthcare. Oh, I'm so poor, how can I afford rent to my apartment? And they're millionaires. They're freaking millionaires. They make more money than you and your entire family ever will. If you're a hot woman... <laughs> you will never be as successful as they are. And they're millionaires and they're asking money from the poor. I swear to God, I hi finally figured out how anarcho-capitalism can work. Because every time you bring up anarcho-capitalism, it's like, who's going to pay for the roads? The thoughts, the thoughts are going to pay for the roads. All you have to do is to put a couple of pretty girls on television and ask money for donations. The poor will throw money at them and use that money to pay taxes and pay for the roads. It's literally how you can make anarcho-capitalism work. If you have a system where millionaires are taking money from the poor through donations, I mean, j just so you know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not talking about a well-off person donating money to their favorite Twitch streamer. If you go on Reddit or, or you go to some of these live communities, you will see that there were people who couldn't pay rent, but they donated to their favorite milady. Like, if you're in that situation, if you're literally that poor that you can't pay rent, but you take the last money that you have to donate to your favorite Twitch streamer, I think there's a problem. There was a guy that got a divorce because his wife couldn't handle it because he was spending too much money on e-girls. No one talks about that because if you talk about that, that's misogyny, all right? If you point out that there are millionaires Taking money from people that can't pay rent, that is a problem. If I'm not mistaken, like, that, that was even an issue on YouTube. Like, it's a Gundam got into trouble for pointing out this. 
Like he, he pointed out to a Twitch girl that had contracts with Disney, was a millionaire, and they had people that were dirt poor giving her money and then pointing out, it's like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to eat tomorrow. And he was making fun of those people, but the millionaire immediately started uh, seeking her community or it's a Gundam because, you, you know, he was ruining the good gig that she was having. And, and that's really what pisses me off about this. Look, like, you, you are in a society where people complain that uh, some magazine puts a pretty girl on the cover, and that's harmful. But no one points out, it's like, dude, there are people on Twitch that are hiding the fact that they are millionaires. That, that's what really annoys me, because if everyone knew they're millionaires, it's like, okay, it's the person's decision. But no, they're pretending they're not. They're pretending they're poor. They're pretending they can't pay for healthcare. They're pretending they're the girl next door. Newsflash, you don't live next to a millionaire. And all the people like Twitch, the platform that talks about the socialism the most, the platform that's all about is distributing wealth. How is it that all the top streamers are millionaires? Whatever happened to Bernie Sanders complaining about the millionaires? Now it's billionaires and trillionaires, is it? Is the inflation that bad? So yeah, this is why Destiny got the boot. I don't think he got the boot because... He revealed the personal info. I think this was an excuse. I think he was under a microscope. Look at his expression. Look at his face. He knows. Look, look at him. Look at him. He's looking downwards. He knows. He knows what's going on. He knows that this is what they did, right? They, they just look for a reason to send a message to other people as well. Stop talking about the leaks. And by the way, speaking of the leaks... Don't you think it's worth knowing that the information that you gave to Twitch is now in the hands of hackers? Like maybe people should change their passwords. If you had the password that you used on Twitch on other services, maybe you should change it. So yeah, it's, it's just like Destiny didn't seem too pleased with Twitch's decision. No shit. Twitch's email was considered semi-public as the Twitch employee email emails are just their first initial and last name. Destiny is no stranger to drama on Twitch, blah, blah, blah. No, I, I, I don't think they, they banned him because he shared personal info. I think they banned him because they want people to stop talking about it, right? The, the, the amount of cringe, by the way, there was this chica, another millionaire, who was complaining that Twitch, like, oh... The only thing that the email hacks reveal is that Twitch lacks diversity. What the fuck are you talking about? First, you're a white woman, okay? So if you don't like diversity, sell your channel to, to a black lady. No one is stopping you. No one is stopping. But secondly, if you look at Twitch, they actually do promote women more than men. Like, you have men that have more views than women on some games, but when the search engine is the women that come on top. Why? Because sex sells. But Twitch likes to, stop pretend, likes to pretend it's not about sex. I can show you right now, but, but if I show you on YouTube, I would get community violation guideline strike. But I can show you what, what goes out on Twitch and what goes out on Chatterbait, and I can ask you, hey, can you, can you figure out which one is from which? I guarantee to you, you will not be able to. I did this on Twitter. No one figured it out. They were all from Twitch. So yeah, that's uh, my, my take on the leaks and whatever like it, it really pissed me off I, i'm not upset just so you can understand i'm not upset that people make money by streaming all right that's not the conversation i am upset that there are millionaires pretending to be poor so that other people donate money to them that's what i am upset like how greedy can you be when is enough enough why can't you let other people make money then or you know like pretend that you're an actual right-wing capitalist who enjoys this shit, and then it's fine the dishonesty bothers me. The hypocrisy bothers me. I'm not bothered that people make money. Oh, and, and finally, the last straw that breaks the camel's back is the values of the society we live in. You get a person like PewDiePie, and he said the joke, oh my god, he's a Nazi. No, we need, we need to, to crash down the entire social media because of PewDiePie. He used the N-word, right? No one looks at the fact that he donated money to help people in Africa have water to fight AIDS in Africa, like he donated money to so many charities, it's unreal. And then you have like these chuckleheads pretending to be poor, 
not donating a single dollar. I, in fact, I, I bet they would probably donate money to the Art Gala Museum so they can go next to AOC and say they want to tax the rich while going to extravagant things so that they can pay less taxes. Because then the money goes off to donations. It's, it's for charity. Not, none of these people ever give charity to things that matter. And, and they're all progressives. They're all for activism and social justice. Not a single one of them donates to charity. Like, help some village in Africa have water. You, you'd think that's important. But no, apparently not. You know, their empathy without borders only is like, no, get more people in America. But helping people out of America, never. Never. Let me know what you guys think, though, and uh, hopefully you found this rant funny. I, I got a little bit upset. Like, when I saw the Twitch leaks the first time, I was like, Jesus Christ. Because I, I knew, like, four or five people there that were complaining about being poor. And then you see that they're millionaires. It's just, ugh. Ugh. Let me know what you guys... Oh, by, by the way, by the way, by the way, before I end this. DSP is the only honest person on that freaking list. Dark Side Phil, if you know him, all right? Like, he, he actually didn't make much money. He's actually poor. I'm like, okay, fine. At least there's DSP. The light in the darkness. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.